when I was thirteen, I didn't like studying. I spent much time on computer and online games. My father took me with him most of the time, and one day, I saw him at a competition with this uniform. I loved the uniform very much. I thought it would be special if I could wear the same. Then I request my father to teach me how to play. He was delighted, and I had no expectation. I thought I would work as snooker club, like my father. I didn't like studying. In those days, I was empty and had no self confidence. Snooker changed my life. The game calls for persistence, concentration, and patience. And you won't get an identical game ever, because the lighting is different, the environment is different, and humidity is different. <laughs> It all began with my first win in two thousand eight at Hong Kong Under Twenty One Open Championship, which I was the only female player. This turned to this turned the game into my profession, followed by two thousand nine. And 2010 IBSF World Snooker Ladies Champion, and 2010 Asian Games Gold Medal. Everything seems to flow very well, until 2013. 2013, I failed to defend the title. I was too used to winning that I struggled to lose. My father is my guardian angel. He helps me to look after all my snooker equipment, such as my cue, my cue case, and my cue tips. In all these years, I only used the cue tips provided by my father, not any other types. At home, my father also repairs almost everything. He is a superman. Now I have three coaches from the Hong Kong team, but when I practice at my own club. My father will play with me and give me advices. I work very hard, and I strongly believe that I still have a very big room to improve myself. Winning the world title will not change my life, because there is still a long way to go, and I know it. I won't win it all. <laughs>